Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this one I've decided that at last I'm going to build a guitar. I'm going to get into that. Uh, I have, don't have the same materials and I don't have the same everything um, tools and everything so I'm going to have to adapt a few things and so therefore uh, we'll have a go at it. Now what have we got on hand to do the first thing is make a mould. So what have I got? Well, first thing I have is a space to work in at least, sort of, and I have a whole bunch of um, old cardboard boxes that I think I can make a mould out of. Now off the internet I uh, managed to find uh, some rough dimensions just to remember what they were. Uh, we're going imperial because that's what the number is, 18 inches long, it's going to uh, be 13 inches wide at the bout and it told me it was 10 there. They didn't give me a measurement in the middle so I just eyeballed it. I drew one side first then doubled it over to get the full uh, shape of that body. Now on some cardboard I cut the first one out and then started to layer up the board and then with PVA add layer after layer. Now with a sharp knife, I'm going to now cut through the cable. So there we have a test side in, and it fits pretty reasonable, except for that little bit there, but we can fix that up with some filler air or some cardboard and paper mache. But it seems to be working. I have some quick braces uh, figured out. They haven't got the bolts in yet, but they are a precise enough fit for now. Turning our attention to the linings, we get a piece of a stick that is the dimensions that we want, and placing it on the bench top, we can put a stick on top of that, and then one hacksaw width, which is going to be the bit that's left, um, and so that it doesn't cut right through the stick. Then the another hacksaw blade on top of that, and then screwed with some wide flat uh, screw heads along there so that we get a situation like this and the lining itself is going to protrude one uh, blade thickness above the uh, the hacksaw blade when it cuts through and reaches the bottom as it bottoms out. And that is going to work as usual with the face on this side butted against a block so that it's going to be square and, and the distance is then going to be one nail width out the width of that stick and off we go. Now for the lining clamps I'm going to change tack. Instead of having uh, cam clamps I'm going to ha use these screws that I found. I found this uh, jar of screws so let's use them. I'm going to take a stick and cut off a couple of inches or uh, oh, it's about 60 70 centimeter, uh, millimeters. Then another thinner one like that on four on top. Drill a hole about an inch down through both of those, the width of the screw. Then a larger one through just the thin stick, so that that screw will fit through this one okay and then screw into the smaller one, uh, the fatter one. Then we'll get a short piece of lining and glue that on just one side onto the fat one. 
so we can put that clamp on and tighten the screw to a tension that we are happy with and that the thinner stick will have enough flex to be able to put on and off adequately and then trim up your lengths. So there we have some quick and functional uh, linings clamps.